Hello friends, this video on unit and measurement part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Please make sure that you watch part 1 and part 2 of unit and measurement before going ahead with part 3. Okay, so let's focus on measurement of mass. The SI unit for measuring mass is kilogram. But on atomic scale, that is on very small scale to measure mass of things which are very, very light. We use another unit that is called atomic mass unit, generally written as AMU. Now, 1 AMU is defined as 1 by 12, the mass of a carbon 12. What is carbon 12? It is an isotope of carbon atom with mass number 12. So, on atomic scale, we use AMU and 1 AMU is equal to 1 by 12, the mass of C12. Now, generally, the commonly visible object's mass is measured by the common balance, which all of you must have seen in the grocery shop. It is somewhat like this. So, mostly the objects which we see all around us, which falls under the normal range, they are measured by the common balance. For extremely heavy objects, we employ gravitational method which is based upon Newton's universal law of gravitation. We will discuss these methods when we discuss the unit on gravitation. For extremely light objects, we have a device called mass spectrograph. We will discuss this again when we discuss the chapter on instruments. So what did we see? For mass, the SI unit is kg, but for very smaller scale, atomic mass unit is used, that is AMU. Normally, it is measured by common balance, but for extremely heavy objects, we use gravitational methods, and for extremely light objects, we use the mass spectrograph. Now, let us look at the range of masses. Variation of mass happens from an electron mass which is of the order of 10 to the power minus 30 kg to the huge mass of about 10 to the power 55 kg of the universe. So just see the variation. These are the electrons which in turn makes up the atom. Atom in turn makes up the molecules. Molecules in turn makes up matter which constitute all the things that we see around us and this in turn makes up the entire universe. So starting from this small electron till this entire universe, so if you see the variation in the mass, it is huge. The electron's mass is 10 to the power minus 30 kg, whereas the universe mass approximates to 10 to the power 55 kg. Till now we saw the measurement of length and measurement of mass. Let us now have a look at measurement of time. The SI unit for time is seconds. Time is measured by the atomic clock and the atomic clock is based upon periodic vibrations of cesium atom. The atomic clock which determines the time or on which the entire time of the entire world is based upon is itself based upon the periodic vibrations of cesium atom. Just as a piece of information, the photograph which you can see here is a picture taken of the first atomic clock. The first atomic clock. It looked something like this. An interesting fact is what we know as one second is actually the time needed for these many vibrations of a cesium-133. As I said, the clock is based upon the vibrations of cesium atom. So when the cesium atom takes these many vibrations, we say that one second has passed. So that is how time is calculated. We will now study accuracy and precision of instruments. So what is accuracy? Accuracy is how close a measured value is to the actual value. That means 
See friends, generally what happens is when we take the measurement of some quantity using certain instruments, there are certain errors involved in taking the values. So what we normally do is we take the measurement quite a number of times and then take an average of all the measurements taken. Now when we deal with the measuring instruments, these are the two terms which are of great significance. One is accuracy and the other is precision. So what is accuracy? It means the measured value which the instrument measured, how close is that value to the actual value? Let us take an example. Suppose the actual weight of a substance is 1.25 kgs. Okay. Now let us suppose I measured the weight of this substance with some instrument A. Now I take repeated values or repeated measurements using that instrument A. The values which it gives is say 1.23 kg, 1.24 kg, 1.26 kg and things like that. So when we talk of accuracy, we mean to say how close each of these values is to the actual value. That means how close 1.23 is to 1.25 or 1.24 is to 1.25. So how close each of the measured value is to the actual value. Now when I talk of precision, I mean how close the measured values are to each other. That means these are all the measured values. Now how close these values are with each other. So when I talk of accuracy, I compare the measured value with the actual value. Whereas when I talk of precision, I compare all the measured values with each other. So precision, we can pre relate precision to something called resolution. You must have heard, we often say the resolution of this instrument is very bad or the resolution of this instrument is very good. What we mean to say is the instrument gives very close values on repeated measurements. Now, we will see a diagram which will make it very clear before you the difference between accuracy and precision. Let us suppose this red color central mark is the actual value of some quantity. Correct. Now let us suppose this yellow marks, they are the measured values with some instrument. This figure shows that this instrument has high accuracy because all the measured values are very close to the actual value. You see this measured value is close to the actual value. This is close to the actual value. This is close to the actual value. So all are close to the actual value. So this has high accuracy. This instrument also have high precision. Why? Because all the measured values are very close to each other. So this instrument has high accuracy and high precision. Let us see the next diagram. Here you see that the measured values, they are quite close to the actual value. That is, this is very close to the red region. This is also near to red. So everything is quite close to the actual value, but the values themselves are quite far off. That means the yellow balls are quite far from each other. That means this instrument has high accuracy, but low precision. Similarly, in the third case, we find that the, all the measured values are very far from the actual red area. That means it is very far from the actual value. So it has low accuracy. But the values are very close to each other. That means the measured values are very close to each other. So it has a high precision. So I think now it is clear the difference between accuracy and precision. Accuracy means how close the measured value is to the actual value whereas precision means how close the measured values are to each other. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.